Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banish Repairs where I can see our streak. On the previous episode we had an amazing delete this run. A pretty rare thing for us on this streak. Obviously doesn't actually count towards our streak. But we got an amazing little victory. Probably one of the clutchest wins I've ever had in Isaac. It was quite amazing. If you haven't seen it please go and check it out. And we've got Tainted Lilith to Mother this time. That is exciting. I do like Tainted Lilith. She is quite fun. Let's jump in, see if we can get a nice little win as Tainted Lilith here. But yeah, she's always a blast. She's always got that little bit of an issue with the lower speed, but the, the really high starting damage is great. And holy sugar, sugar, sugar. First room giving us Cracked Crown on the floor. So good. Every single stat upgrade gives us a 20% bonus. Two said stat upgrade. So for right now, doesn't actually do anything. I've got to try this. Look down. And tears up. Perks. And something wrong. We got a tears up out of it. Of course, the look down isn't great, but the tears up is fantastic here. Very much like that. Uh, I do wonder if there's any way that you can push the coins out here. Not quite. Okay, and uh, charming shots. Not great, but it's not terrible. Getting a key out of that's pretty good. Um, and yeah, so far I'm liking this. Of course, we're going to mother, so getting that key... Allows us to go straight to the alt path if we want to, which I think I probably will do. I'm going to go back over here and check out what we got going on in our other room, just in case. But this is a, a very good start so far, even with just Cracked Crown. The Charming Tears, I'd say for the most part, doesn't really matter. Um, but you never know, you might get something out of it. Um, let's try and blow up these. Okay, I just got a Hurst. Don't think I'll be uh, getting involved with you, little Hursty Hurst. Don't think I'll be getting involved with you very often. Let's go. Okay, another key. Great stuff. And it has been a little while since I've done alt path stuff, so I do uh, apologize if I end up being a little bit iffy on it, but I will try to do my best. Unfortunately, no bombs in this first floor, but that doesn't matter all too much. We've got the gurglings here. Uh, this is kind of a hard fight, unless you can get them to do what I just did there and charge directly into the poops. But on this character, not too hard at all. And we even got a speed upgrade to make up for Lilith's slightly annoying speed down uh, that she has to start with, so feeling a lot better. I'd say the one thing that right now that I'm not feeling so good about is our current HP. The status of our HP isn't great. We are on Dross as well, which is a little bit of a harder flaw than the downpour, so keep an eye out. Uh, by the way, uh, for any of you that haven't seen it already, I, I know that at this point when you're watching this, it'll be kind of old. I'm going to take this just because we're one-off spun if we take this. Um, even though it's not actually that good for us. In fact, at the minute, it does literally nothing. Um, but for those of you that haven't seen it, uh, BD1P did a really good uh, breakdown of the alt flaws recently. Um, or recently for me, it'll be a few months ago for you guys now, like a month ago. Uh, but he did like a breakdown of the alt path stuff, and it was really, really good. And unfortunately, it didn't actually get a ton of views, but I, I highly recommend people go and give it a little check out, because I really enjoyed it. Um, right. We got a world card here. We don't have any bombs, so the world card isn't super useful for us right now. Of course, we do need two bombs for the next floor, so we want to be kind of keeping our bombs, really. Okay, remember, these guys can charge over the pits very easily. There's one bomb. There is a tinted rock back there, but I think... Okay. Haha. -ha. You think you're a cool little trap room, don't you? I can still get your pennies. Yeah, like, I kind of do want to use the, the bomb on that uh, Tinted Rock, but I actually kind of think we need to keep our bombs and just say, no, no, unless we get something like the matchbook from the boss here. So Clog's actually not too bad. One thing to remember with Clog is um, is that the poops he can create, create flies, and the little dudes that he spawns, if he gets enough of them on screen at once, he will use... Oh, I, I can never dodge that attack. He will use that in order to do a spinny attack that's quite bad. Okay, I need to try and get him before he does that attack again, because I'm really bad at that attack. I got it though. Plug is down. We got a tears up, that's pretty good. We were really looking for health, but we're gonna have to um We're gonna have to say no no and keep our bombs going. Um I'm I would very much like to take that tinted rock, but I really think it's more valuable to go for this. I'm not using the world card quite yet because I just don't think we really need it quite yet. And so this is good. We do have a tinted rock on this floor. So if we get enough bombs or we can do that. Oh, that was great. That was so good for us there. Didn't even have to use a bomb and managed to regain some of that lost HP. Very happy about that. Also, our tears right now. Really, really good for the floor that we're on. 
Yes, and that's our second bomb already. So any bombs we get after this are basically free. We can do whatever we want with them. Uh, really hoping we get something good from our uh, item room this time. And maybe our boss gives us spun. That would be even better. We'll see what our boss is here. And decide if we want to end up fighting this boss again in the mirror realm. It's always a bit... This guy can be a bit tricky. I think he's, for the most part, pretty easy. Especially with this character, because we can keep our distance. But the, the, the jumping attack this guy does can be really, really bad. I'm very thankful I didn't get an angel deal there, because I did accidentally leave the room as it ended. I think we can probably do that again in the mirror realm. It seems relatively, uh, relatively safe. I'm really hoping that we can get ourselves some uh, extra money and maybe an extra key to go to our shop here, because we're very close to being able to afford something from the shop. Not always the most valuable of options, but I think this time around it should be pretty good. Okay, we've got a lot of bucket throwers. One of you as well. Okay, these dudes, of course, can be really annoying. Okay, so really hoping for another bomb there because we've got yet another Tinted Rock. Doctor Shremer. I'm actually going to take Doctor Shremer. It's not that good, but it's guaranteed um, additional bombs. And I think that's very valuable for us right now. I mean, already it's gifted us two soul hearts more than we would have had otherwise. I feel like that's pretty darn useful. Uh, we've also got a very good setup here for um, our, what's it called, Mirror Realm. Because we were in the same room. We don't have to travel a bunch. Okay, so there's our pennies as well. All we need now is the key. Could also maybe look for a secret room. I suppose the secret room, so that's our key anyways. But I suppose a secret room could actually end up being um, betwixt the uh, secret room. Sorry, the shop and the, the boss trap room, to be honest. It's not super duper likely, but actually it is it is super duper unlikely though. Uh, so we'll pop through here. That's really, really good. I would prefer to grab Smelter, I have to be honest. Smelter's really, really good. And we have a very good trinket. This is actually a really tough call. Um, I'm going to do this first. That, okay, that gave us two pennies. That doesn't bird well. I'm going to come back to you and and basically just kind of see. Because uh, I kind of have an idea of what I want to do here. Do we remember where the white fire is? I don't actually remember where the white fire is. Because um, I have to be honest... I have to be honest, I really would like both of those. Um, I know that I can't get both currently. I think car battery is the better pickup initially, but in the long term, I think smelter is way better. Like, it, it really just depends on how many trinkets you end up getting throughout a run. What the hell's that white fire? Am I blind? I feel like I just haven't seen it. It's not in there. It's not in there. Is it in here? In here? There it is. I walked right past it. Okay. So basically we'll see how much money we end up getting through the Mirror Realm rooms. I think we can actually play it a little bit unsafe. And do some more rooms in the mirror, mirror realm that we don't actually have to do. So let's quickly get our key piece first, just so we know we've got it. And I'm trying to think of how many rooms are really, really bad. I know that this one above is bad. We don't need to go to that room, but I think we can go to all the other rooms pretty, pretty safely. Just hoping to get like a nickel dropped or something like that. Okay, get you. Tinted rock there, that's good. We'll pop that. And there's an additional bomb. That's good. Okay, why'd I go in here? I just said to myself that this is a bad room. Okay, good. There's an additional penny. We do have a tinted rock there as well, which is great to know. 
Also got a happy poop here that I will crack. Got another key there, so... Oh, fuck, no, 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 I'm stupid. Ah. Oh. For some reason, I assume the tinted drop is in this room, even though I know it's not. Even though I know it's not. That was just me being silly. See? You see? Okay. Quickly go back and get that tinted rock. That was very worthwhile, thank you. I'll probably go into my cash room after this as well. Basically, as long as he doesn't do too much jumping, we should be fine. What I probably should have done, really, is use Doctor's Remote on this guy. Would have been way easier. We got it, and we did get a HP up. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, let's go. So, let's go back through our room. I've kind of got an idea of how I want to play this. I'm a little bit apprehensive how well this is going to go. I have to admit, I've maybe done this a little wrong. I might not be able to afford both because of how I've played this, which is a real shame because it's my it's my own idi idiocy that's caused it, if so. Wait, we don't have a cash room. Confusion. Yeah, I think I've I think I misplayed this by getting that tinted rock, you know? Um Right. So, God damn, this is annoying. Let's just think about this. So, I'm going to pop this. It is there. That's annoying. I was like, no way it's going to be there. Please be a bomb. Okay, it's two bombs. Great. So now we can go in here, which is great. More food. I like that. Oh, I always forget how far that spreads. Good, good. You're gone. Okay, this is exactly what we needed. This is good. So now what we can do, kill this guy first, of course. That gives a penny that's even better. So now we go over here. We go back in here. We grab this first. Then we go boom. That didn't actually use that twice, surprisingly. Then we go, go like that. Get a few more coins. Then we grab this bad boy. We smell this. And we move on. And now we've got two bombs to get to the next floor as well. Okay, I know that by the way, car battery plus smelter until we get something that lets us hold two trinkets or generate trinkets isn't really that big of a deal. The The sort of idea behind this is car battery is more for the future. We smelt two or three trinkets. Even just having smelt, uh, smelted the, uh, the crown is kind of good enough. Um, but we smelt as much as we can. And then we switch to a different active later. Now, I will admit, Doctor's Remote was a good active, and it didn't really get much use. But at the end of the day, it probably got us like a good, a good, like four spirit hearts. Which, if you think about it, pretty heckin' good. Yeah. Really, we're hoping for some statistical upgrades now, because at the minute, Crack Crown is doing very little for us. It's, do it's giving us a bit more tears up, but that's about it. Good. That's... Okay, I, I know that I wanted statistical upgrades, but even, even though you would not fire a lot of tears, as her Mysterious Liquid is still really good. I really like it. I think it's a very, very strong item.
Like, as you can see, we're still getting a good amount of mysterious liquid shots about the house. About the house. Okay. So we're basically just looking for more trinkets at this point. That'd be really good. Good, good. The charm helping us out. I'm just walking into shots at this point. Can't really fire diagonally too well with uh, with Tainted Lilith, can you? Just noticing that now. It's a tried and true tactic, that, so... Like, normally you kind of whip it to the side with your shots, but you can't really do that as her. So for enemies like this, you have to actually wait for them to stop firing. Kind of a weird change of pace. Good, good. There's another key as well. I am going to be doing most of the rooms here. I don't see why not. But yeah, we're, we're, in a, we're in a situation where we could definitely use a little more oomph. I'm really hoping we just find more bombs as well. We're doing pretty bad on the bomb front at the minute. It's also good to know that uh, car battery plus Doctor's Remote doesn't do anything because taking car battery only would have been a big disappointment. I thought it would have done what, um, what Doctor, uh, not Doctor Fetus, uh, Epic Fetus does. Where it fires two rockets when you have like 20-20. Just fires one rocket after the other. I don't know why it doesn't do that. That's, that's kind of odd. Um, it must be because it like tries to use both the rockets at once. Unless it does use two rockets and they just fall at the exact same spot. Like at the exact same timing and spot. But I don't think that's the case. Okay, good. Taking it kind of slow with these dudes at the minute. Ow, how did that hit me? It's, it's fine, but still. Got you. Oh, these big boys can be a problem. Aha, I didn't see you two there. He's actually made a very, very generous path here. He's not really broken actually that much of the floor. He's left us a lot of open space. A lot of the time, he's very mean about how he breaks the floor there. We're getting hit a lot, but honestly, don't really worry about it. We got our Angel. This will give us a trinket too, which is nice. Uh, we get Azazel Stump. Honestly, I'll take Azazel Stump. Uh, let's smelt that up. Judgment. Here's our Angel deal. Soul Locket isn't the greatest, but it does give us some additional statistics. Uh, and I do think they'll get 20% bonus from Crack Crown, so... All in all, not terrible. Keep her going. Good, good. That was a little bit tricky, but not too bad. Oh, I am getting hit a little bit too much here, but we're gaining health pretty regularly, so I don't mind it too much. That's really nice. Uh, we're not really getting anything statistical, which is a little annoying. Um, interestingly enough, Azazel's Stump is actually pretty good for us. Because it basically just gives us flight every now and again. The one thing I will say that it's uh, currently doing is it is making um, it is making our tier rate slow down quite a lot. Which is an unforeseen circumstance. It's actually kind of bad. <laughs> the flight's really nice, but oh my god, the tier rate's so low. It like halves that tier it. More than halves it. Damn. So maybe Azazel Stump isn't the best for us, but it is going to be activating fairly regularly now that it's uh, been smelted. So guess what? We're stuck with it. Uh, honestly, let's go in here. Starter deck is an interesting one. I kind of like the idea of starter deck. But yeah, what we can do is like this. Do you know, that's not even that good. So I was maybe hoping that Azazel's Stump would be really good because of the um, perming. But like with Spoonbender. But that doesn't even work. This is... Okay, so Azazel's Stump is actually... Okay, thank you for the secret room, by the way. Um, Azazel's Stump is... Are you kidding me? This room didn't finish because there was one of those little bomb flies about. 
Is Hazel Stump is lucky, like, one of the worst things we've done to this run. Um, every, like, three rooms, we're gonna have to deal with just the worst tier rate of all time. With literally no benefit. It's literally just a massive tears down, and that's it. So that's rather inconvenient. Ow. Yeah, it's, it's pretty regular, and it's a huge tears down. Definitely should have tested how that worked before smelting. But, hey her, it's done now. When, when, when we've not got that on, the herming's really nice, though. Do like myself some spoon bender. We've got some bombs now as well, which is nice. Might be able to find a secret room here. Yeah, I really thought Azazel Stump was going to be great. I thought it'd be like, fuck yeah, we can fire a bit of brimstone every now and again. We get flight every now and again. No, 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 no. It's almost impossible to fire the brimstone. Um, we get really low tier rate, so it kind of ruins the run for a little bit. Hey, all these are charmed. Why? I don't actually know why all those are charmed. Yeah, there you go. Taken care of. That's pretty nice. I'm actually going to take the pill as well. There. Ah, oh, it's just something's wrong. Darn. Uh, let's try and find a secret room here. Very likely to be... Yeah, it's very likely to be here, isn't it? Could be below us as well, but... Okay, sadly nothing great. I'm gonna bomb you, actually. Just to see what we get. And let's keep moving it along. Okay, so... I have to say, so far this run isn't looking like a success. Also, I did just place this guy in the worst place possible, but I'm gonna spend all my money on him. And see if we get a health upgrade. Our little chest, that's also pretty good. Yeah, I have to say, I feel like this run's, like, got some, some bad juju. How did I get hit there? <laughs> Please, game. Behave. See, like, Azazel stumping me as I go through this door would be amazing. Of course it wouldn't. Why would it be so generous? There's a tinted rock there as well, you absolute fart. Goddamn game. Also, having to go through this area with um with the, the, the lower speed is also pretty bad. I have to admit, this is looking like a likely loss. I really don't think we have anything super great. And in fact, we have something that's pretty bad. Like, this run on the surface looks incredible, but because we're playing Tainted Lilith, it's actually not that good. Great. <laughs> Did not mean to get hit by that random fly there. That's good stuff. That's exactly what I meant to do as well. Yeah. Okay, we're good. We are golden. <laughs> that was amazing. Be able to destroy all those. Okay. But yeah, we need a lot of tears up to make the Azazel thing work. But even still, after the tears up, I think it's going to be pretty bad. I don't think it's going to be great. Right. Next floor. Mausoleum. Obviously a hard floor. If we get Gehenna, that would be really bad. <laughs> Gehenna would be kind of crushing right now. But we will see. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, game. So, Gehenna, obviously well known for its horrible trap rooms and enemies. One thing that's really nice here is the herming when we can use it. Whereas there's like a luck penny is nice. Pop in here real quick. Charge penny. 
That's another trinket, so I guess we just smelt that bitch. I... I will re-roll this run. If it, if it gives me a D... If it gives me a D100 or D4, I will re-roll this run. I know that we'll, uh, we'll end up keeping Azazel's whatever, but there you go. We got a D4. I'm doing it. We got Jacob's Ladder, Hemolacria, which is kind of an interesting combo. Pretty low tier rate. I'm just gonna, D I'm just gonna like D4 whenever that shows up, because we've got that uh, thingy now. We got another D4. Just until I get something good. Um, This is pretty good. We got Lodestone in there. Um, Cracked Orb in there, Wafers in there. Nothing insanely good. We need something that's going to give us more damage. D100. Smelt this first, then D100. Oh shit, it reset the room. I forgot it, it could do that. So this is a strange, strange run. Didn't think that guy'd be able to hit me there, but okay. Ah oh, yes, exactly what I was looking for. We did get a dog tooth proc there, which is rather nice. Gotta be here then, hasn't it? Arts is really nice here. Uh, this one isn't particularly good. We do have Sinus Infection in the Mind, which is rather good. I actually think this dice thing is kind of insanely funny. <laughs> just how crazy this is going to get. We're going to be just like re-rolling until we get like a god run. But the thing is, we're going to be re-rolling out of health upgrades and stuff, so we've got to be careful about that. And Azazel's Stump is still going to exist no matter what. That's another thing we got to consider. Well, that was rather nice. Got a lot of boys. We got a rules card, yay. Hero font there as well. Okay, D12, pretty busted for us. D12 was pretty busted for us there. This is intriguing. I'm still going to keep re-rolling until we get something like really godly. Do we have um, $3 bill? That's what it is. I was like, is it shielded tears or do we have $3 bill? I thought it was $3 bill. Not too hard of a room here. A little bit annoying, but not too difficult all in all. <clears throat> Is this the one where you bomb this and it like... There, there, creates a path. We got a Yarrow rune, that's pretty good. Nice. D6 doesn't really do anything for us in this room particularly. Okay, luckily we can hurt these guys without our tears bouncing off them so much. Sadly, I, I, did, I picked up those um, spirit hearts before we could Yera. Uh, we haven't been to our... No, we have been to our item room on this floor. And we've been to our shop as well, actually. So let's just go... Okay, this is going to be a fairly hard boss. We basically just got to hope for really good procs on $3 bill. Damn. We got a nice little shot in there. Herming bomb, nice. 
<laughs> I love this boss so much. It's so chaotic, but kind of most of the Gehenna bosses and like late game bosses on these alt floors are. I love it. There you go. That's good. <laughs> this has been such a wacky one, this. Such a wacky one. I love the dice bag. It's such a unique little idea. How have I not been hit yet? What the hell? I honestly don't know. This room again. No D12 this time though. The D12 was fucking amazing on this room. It, it got us uh, a, a full heal and a hero font card. Along with allowing us, allowing us to access everything that was in the middle. Looking for more trinkets, really, at this point. Trinkets stay with us through rerolls, so... Good thing and a bad thing, really. Bad thing because, um... Azazel Stum. Good thing because of everything else. Oh god, this is a hard room. I wasn't ready. Wasn't ready for this level of room. D100, go. Why did I do it while there was enemies in the room? That was such a... Oh no, we got marked. What the fuck is this? Ah! Marked. I've never had marked like this before. This is weird. Ah, I don't ever like this. I, 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 I can't really decide. I, I'm pretty sure I don't like it. <laughs> oh, we need another D100. Pretty fucking rapid. Pretty rapid game. <laughs> Thing is, it can be any dice. So we could be waiting a while to find another one. And like, obviously not every room even gives a dice. So. But this is awful. <laughs> Like, the damage we're putting out is actually pretty decent, but overall, this is not great. Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing, you your mad bitch? What's this about? Oh, it's the Azazel stump thing. Hello? Fuck. Oh, wait. Do we have rock bottom? How come my speed didn't go down at all, then? We must be, like, way over max speed. Thunder thighs is great. <laughs> Considering there's a speed down. Look at this, mad bitch! Whoa! This is so good with the Zazel Stump! Oh my god. Sadly, we don't get to keep a Zazel Stump for long. We're back to this madness afterwards. <laughs> this is stupid. I kind of love it, but at the same time, it's awful. Like, there's nowhere to put away our fetus. <laughs> this is bizarre. This is such a challenge. I'm still going to re-roll it, even though the Zazel Stump business is pretty good. Oh, there you go. We, we got him. Oh no, what have we got now? Okay, let's have, let's take stock. We got the mind again. We got Explosiva, Pentagram, Dunska. This is a pretty bad reroll, to be honest. Tears up, fuck yes. Oh wait, we're at max tears, apparently. I suppose the tears up fills affect us through rerolls, though, so that's still pretty good. Soul Heart, that's nice. This is some mad shit, this is. Some absolute mad shit. Definitely be buying that, thank you. Okay, this is the slur... Slurga. <sighs> My lord. Um, I'm gonna do some extra rooms just to try and get a D4 again, or a D100. At least there's two things that can reroll us. We can cast the maze with it. Yeah, we are. Eternal D6. Hmm. I don't really know how to do this. There you go. That works. We got a devil and a lovers. I don't really think we want either. Let's just get out of here. Sadly, no more reroll there. 
Please don't turn us into Azazel as we walk into this next room. That would be very sad. Nice. Do too much for us. Whoa! Look at this little fella. Woo! <laughs> That's amazing. Why is he doing that? I, I, what? Does he always do that? Is this just me being stupid or what? That looks amazing. So yeah, this room's a bit boxed, I have to say. As far as boxed runs go, I'd say this is one. Ow. Yeah, I'm taking some hot damage here. Some very hot damage. I don't really know where I'm getting hit from, what's hitting me or whatnot. I'm a bit confused. Um, Polaroid on negative. I feel like I have to take negative because I just need the damage. We also got another D4. So well, let's D4 again. We got Psyfly this time, baby. We got Psyfly. Um, but everything else is kind of meh. Compound Fracture is pretty nice. Our health. Oh, God, our health is bad. Oh, no, no. Sci-Fly should save us for the most part on this fight, but our health is terrible. I, I have to re-roll this one again. I know Sci-Fly is amazing, but like... Not amazing enough. <laughs> it can't carry this run. Oh my lord, this is scary. Scary. Holy hell. Okay, so it's got it's got to be up this way, right? We're going to have to reroll again if we get the opportunity. We just like we need more health. But, like, to lose Psyfly would be very sad. But I, I just... Mo the mother fight is so much more than, than just bullets and shots. And I don't think Psyfly can save us. Also, the Azazel stump. It's so bad. The D1... Um, we can, we can briefly use the D1 here. Um, Isaac drops two of his pickups. So we can just, we can just do this. And D1 it. That didn't work. I don't know why. Maybe you just can't D1 Euro runes. That kind of would make sense, to be honest. I kind of want to Yera this, but it's just not worth it. Like, we, we need something that's higher yield, really. I want to, like, Yera a Sun card or something like that. I really don't know whether to re-roll or not, you know. Like, okay, so here's the opportunity. But, like, Sci-Fly is so good. But this run just isn't that great. I'm going to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to re-roll. Okay, I got Godhead, so that's that's good. Ah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Verp, I can't remember what Verp would give us. Tears up. Wait, what do we have that's giving us these tears? Okay, this is a very good one. We've got Godhead Fruitcake. And we're just getting loads of tears up. Well, how are our tears so high? What's happening there? I don't know. I'm very confused. Where's this heart that's apparently in this room? Is this game lying to me? It is. It is lying to me. Health is bad again, but... Um... I'm very confused, I have to say. There's a sun card. I am very confused. 
Oh, we can't hold two things, can we? It's just because we have the D4. What's causing our fire rate to be so weird? I really don't know. I think we have to take the sun card rather than the Yera, because it's just, it's healing. But this is, this is a weird one. Like, why is our whipping not working? Like, we, if we tap whip, it doesn't do it. It doesn't work, like, as it should. Also, by the way, likely to get hit a lot here. Yeah. Look at cute baby girl. Look at him go. He's dancing. Another tears up, which apparently will work for some reason. Health is pretty bad right now. I think what we do is we we Yera the uh, the sun card and just use the sun on this floor to heal and find our secret room. Horse pill. Range down. Nice. Hematemesis. Yeah, I'm apprehensive of this run. Uh, I think I'm going to go do this mini boss. See what that's, see what that's about. <laughs> this is, this is balked. This is so very balked. We got Soul of Azazel and a Blackheart. Oh, my Soul of Azazel is something we have to carry. Fuck. Take the black heart, and we'll just get the hell out of here. I mean, I might as well try this for second secret room. Nah. Okay, this is probably the run we'll stick with. I'm just very apprehensive at my current HP. I really don't know where the boss would be here, you know. I really don't. This is this is very much. It could be any which one of these paths. I'm gonna gamble and go up top first. So we, we have to make sure we don't have a Zazel stump when we um when we fight our boss, because otherwise we can't fire um godhead shots. Okay, I'm glad I came this way because a book is far more valuable than anything we've got going on right now. And of that, there's some good books here. We definitely want to take this. Soul Blue Baby, so it's not this way. But yeah, like, we actually have to trick the game and make sure Zezel's Stump doesn't activate when we... I, I guess it's down then, maybe? This is tricky. Zezel Stump's nice in this room, I'll tell you that. Wait, we don't even need to do that. Luckily, even with a Zezel Stump, our tier rate is still great. Devil. Really hoping we can get like an additional soul heart and not lose any health before we uh, fight the boss at this point. Azazel stumps back again. It's kind of crazy how often Azazel stump procs, you know. There's a black heart. Great. There's a lover's card. There's a world card. Well, card's pretty good for us here. We can go back and get our secret room real quick. And I do believe we shouldn't activate Azazel Stump upon entering this next room. I really hope it doesn't, because otherwise that's going to significantly um, up the difficulty of this entire endeavor. Oh, wait. This could... Oh, no. I can't believe I got hit there. That's so bad. So bad. Okay, so Zezel Stump has activated here. That's annoying. Doing this room, as long as we don't get hit in this room, should clear it. Make sure we don't get it for the boss fight. See? It did. Okay, good. This is this is scary. 
This is scary. Mother fight on this much HP. I can do it, but I'm not super confident, I've got to admit. Let's go. We are stunning her a nice amount. As long as we can get through this phase relatively quickly. Of course, Fruitcake is making a big difference too. Unfortunately, we got this attack, so I'm going to pop my invincibility. We do get double the length of invincibility. I knew that was going to end up being the case that we ended up wasting some of the invincibility there. Okay, this is pretty good for us right now. Oh, I don't have any bombs left. Fuck. That was my bad. I overcommitted to the bomb strat and didn't actually have any bombs to use. This is my first I'm fucking scared sort of moment. Okay, we had to use our sun card. Okay, getting through that attack was very useful. We're probably about halfway done. Maybe a little over half. Oh no, we got it. Honestly, that run was insane. The dice bag carried the shit out of us. Holy hell. Hope you guys enjoyed that win. And I will see you guys in the next one.